Back to the focus report. Here shortly, we'll put a video up demonstrating on how to cut an accurate square focuser board on a 16 inch telescope. I choose for mine to be 13 inches tall and I'll show you how to cut the hole for the focuser. You wanna keep that as small as possible. And then this is what I use as a measuring point on where I'm going to put it on the bottom of the UTA. So what we'll need here is grab our straight edge or our tape and it's 13 inches tall. It is four, four inches wide. So what I'm going to do is I am going to mark the center of it, which is at two inches. Okay, so I've got the center. And like I said, I am going to put it directly to where it's going to be at a 90 degree angle to the ground whenever pointing horizontal or going up and down in the vertical. So I'm going to take one of my connection point marks on this, and I've got that connector point here, so I kind of have an idea how big it is. I'm gonna actually take the focuser board, I'm gonna line up my center mark with the line on the connection point mark, and I want it very, very close to the inside of the UTA. However, again, I do want to leave enough material there because I'm going to route a channel. Now, one of the keys here to make installing your spider easier, make collimation easier later and everything else, is to make sure your focuser board is at a 90 degree angle to the middle of the UTA. And so you want to take great care whenever you're lining up that focuser board on your mark here. That's why I like to center it perfectly because that makes the adjustment much easier. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to trace the board itself. I'm gonna angle that pencil because I want the mark as close to the wood as possible. Okay, so now we know where our focus board is going to go. Now you would think that I would go over and transfer that to the uh, other UTA ring, but I'm not actually going to. I'm gonna do it a much more precise way, and that's by using a drill press, and we'll go through that later on. If you don't have a drill press, there'll be other options for you. So we know where our focuser board's going to be. Now we wanna know where our finder board's going to be. So typically, you'll want your finder board above your focuser board. And so I am going to, we're gonna to have to identify which side of the telescope your focuser is going to be on. A lot of people, like if you were facing the back of the telescope, most people tend to want it nowadays on the right side. And so, with that in mind, I would pretend that I'm standing on the right side of my telescope. My focuser board is going to go to the left. So I'm just going to put a little dot or F right there, or my finder board rather, not my focuser board. So I'm going to write finder, just kind of circle that so I know my finder board. Okay, back to building the telescope. So here we have the finder board. Again, this is going to be marked on your initial sheet of 12 millimeter or half inch plywood. And so I can go back and show you how to make that in the future here. But for the, for the sake of time, I've got a little small uh, finder board cut out. So we wanna place that finder board again, placing it to the left of the focuser board as I stand behind it. And where you place it as far as how far up, how far down on the uh, bottom of the UTA isn't critical. But, uh, you know, to make it look good, I like to leave it relatively close to being in line with the, uh, with the focuser board. But you don't want to make it too close to the UTA because you're going to have a, uh, you know, a tubing right there, so to speak. There's going to be a barrier. So being able to place a right angle finder with bolts on the bottom can be a little bit difficult. So I'm going to place it just inside of middle. 
The angle isn't critical, but let's make it as nice and neat as possible. We'll try to get as square as possible by eyeing it. And now we're going to trace it out. So there we have it. So now we have our focuser board and our finder board marked. Our struts are all marked and we're ready to go to the next step, which is cutting it out. Okay, so before cutting out the UTA, I wanted to go ahead and draw the remainder of the mirror box on the piece of plywood. That way we knew exactly what we were working with. So right here you can see, let's see if I can get a better angle. There we go. So we've got one, one, two, three, and four pieces for the mirror box. There's your, obviously your front, back, two sides. And then we also have to think about our focuser board and finder board. So there's our finder board, there's our focuser board, and then of course we have our UTA. So now we're going to cut the UTA.